Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Just recently LM Studio has released a new version and that brings us to do retrieval augmented generation locally with our own data by using LM Studio. If you don't know what LM Studio is, LM Studio is one of the easiest tool to run large language models locally and then you can even serve these models on your network at an endpoint. Once you download your models, then you can run them privately offline without any internet connectivity. And that is the beauty of this LM Studio. After Olama, this is one of my go-to tool whenever I want to try a quantized version of a model locally because it makes it so easy to test out these models. And instead of tinkering with the tool, you can focus on testing your local models. I have done heaps of videos on LM Studio if you're interested. Even I did a video on a recent updated version of LM Studio here on my channel, which is RAG in LM Studio, but that is Linux focused. The steps are more or less similar, but in this video, we are going to see how you can upgrade LM Studio and then how you can do RAG with it in the Windows. If you're interested, I have done like heaps of videos on of LM Studio, as you can see, there are lots of them. So you can check them out if you uh, feel like it. So let's go back and see how can we upgrade LM Studio in Windows and then how can we take advantage of the new RAG functionality. So let me open my LM Studio. You see, as soon as I open it, it uh, shows me that a new version is available and then you can simply click here, download and install now. I would suggest that you do like this, but if you don't get this pop-up, I will also show you what you can do afterwards. And there are three ways of getting it upgraded, but I'm just going to go with download and install now. So it is downloading and installing it. It is going to take a minute or so. So let's wait for it to finish. And once it is downloaded, you can relaunch it to apply the update. So let's click on this relaunch and this is going to restart your LM Studio. And there you go. It has already been upgraded. And then it is telling you what is new here, all of these features, which are quite good. There are some speed optimization. They also have upgraded Llama.cpp, which is a real blessing because now you can run a lot of other models, including Google's new Gemma 2, um, 2 billion model because earlier it was not uh, possible. Okay, so let me close it. Now, if you don't get that pop-up when you start LM Studio, all you need to do is to click on check for updates on the top left. And then it is going to tell you if you are on the latest version or not. Now, due to few bugs in LM Studio, sometimes what happens is that it still shows you the older version and it doesn't give you um, any option to get it upgraded. In that case, I would highly suggest that you go to LM Studio's website, you download the LM Studio by clicking on this. And then once you launch that setup file, it is going to upgrade it. So these are the three ways which enables you to upgrade LM Studio on Linux on Windows easily. And same goes for by the way Mac and Linux if you like. Okay, so that is done. Let me launch my uh, LM Studio and see how it works. So for example, I am going to go with Jamma 2. So just type Jamma 2 here. Let's wait for it. It is going to show you a lot of quantization. Hopefully, from people. There you go. So we have this Gemma to 9 billion, Gemma to 27 billion. I just want to go with uh, maybe uh, this Google's Gemma 2 and it has been released by Google. So hopefully it is going to work. And then in order to use it, I'm just going to click on download. On the right hand side, it is going to take a bit of a time as you can see. It's, it's a big model. So let's wait for it to finish. And the model is downloaded and I have relaunched my LM Studio and you see the new upgraded interface. And as I said, if the check for updates doesn't work for you, you can simply go in and then download it from the website and run it anyway. So I'm just going to clear this. So this is just telling you how you can migrate the pre chats here. It's a very, very simple one. So let me click here. Now, in the middle, you can simply click and then you see that Jamma 2 is there. So you just select it and it is going to load it onto our system. And there you go. 
so our model is loaded if you click on this jar icon in the top right it is going to show you some of the options which you can check system prompt and then there are some general settings which you can check like uh, some of the cpu threads and all that stuff another cool thing is that um, if you toggle to there's a power user a user and developer so once you toggle the developer one you can select a lot of other options for example you can go here or you can click on settings there are a lot of things you can do for example here you can set your context length you can offload all the layers to gpu as you can see but you would just need to reapply the changes once you go there so let's wait for it it is all done and then again if you click on setting you can click on all and it is going to show you a lot of other parameters like flash attention and stuff so so that is done you can also click on here and exit from so our model is loaded you can chat with it you can ask it any question like i'm asking it what is happiness and there you go there is our response cool so and another cool thing is that it now tells you how many tokens it took per second and in total second and the latency and all that stuff now there are a lot of other options if you can just click on this telescope icon on the left you will see that you can search for models on hugging quiz here you can check out the latest news on the right hand side there are few of the models which you can download if you like just clicking on this download button on the left if you click on this developer icon you can start your local server and then start serving the model on the internet like from here and then this is the port this is the older option which we already have seen a lot of times and then if you click on this setting button you can set a lot of other options like your theme your uh, what is the mode you want to go with developer is the most complex one and then few other options around chat and a lot of other stuff which is not really needed and these are the models which you can uh, go with and now as far as rag is concerned or retrieval augmented generation is concerned where you provide your own data to llm so that it will have more context around your data and it will give you a response more grounded in your own information the rag is fairly simple in lm studio all you need to do is to just click on this pin icon here and then from here you can upload your file and for the file let me go to the desktop and then from desktop maybe my files i have this txt file where uh, i have my own information as what i do where i live and all that stuff so i'm just going to ask it um or maybe I'll just first ask it who is Fahad Mirza. Okay, so let's wait for it. So you see, it doesn't know about me. I think it has just gone in about some Pakistani American entrepreneur and philanthropist who is not me. So now I am going to provide it my own data. Now I'm going to ask it who is Fahad Mirza. Let's run it. There you go. So let's wait for it to finish. There you go. So you see it has chosen the context if i click on it it is going to show me on the right what i what uh, data it got and now it is reading from the file which i have given it how good is that it has just told me um, that who Fahad Mirza is with the help of llm because my file doesn't contain that much information but llm's uh, text generation has made it really cool so this is how easy it is to do rag with the help of lm studio uh, all you need to do is to provide your data to it in pdf text and few other formats and this is the file which i was referring to and then um, you can uh, simply provide any data and it is going to read through it there is some limitation on the file size of course i mean you can't just put um, thousands and thousands of documents here but i think uh, still it is good enough so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions around um, this lm studio on windows happy to help out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching